Hello. It is I, the Yo. Imp. And also, hello, Cor uh, what's this? Corky, uh, Corbitman. Hey! Yeah, Corbitman, hello, welcome to the stream. Anyway, so, yeah, back in D&D, Dungeons and Dragon Hive Session 11? Yeah, we just passed, 11. like, Session 10 now. So we're on 11. 11. Yeah. How long have I been gone? 11? I have no idea how long you've been gone, <clears throat> Mr. M Mr. Mango. I'm still a pirate? Great, give me a minute. Yeah. Continue. Mango. Anyway, so... Uh, before we gonna start, I guess we introduce the characters, including like the the temporary ones. Uh, this is an in and out game, so it's cool. So first out, uh, first we have to introduce. Um, wait, Komi's not here, right? She's doing the oil stuff. Yeah, just doing some personal stuff. Okay, let's introduce the pirate. Pirate that who lives in the forest, Crimson Orion. And would you please pirate. introduce yourself and the character who's playing? What do you mean a pirate? I'm just a regular guy in the forest. <laughs> hey, I'll good evening, doing... good morning, guys. My name's Crimson Orion, and I'm gonna be playing as Core, a half orc, half infernal gunslinger. Damn, it's been a while since I've joined this. A lot of overtime, sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. So, next person to introduce is let's see, the return one, Mr. Manango. Would you introduce yourself and oh, your character? My name is Mr. Mango. I do not have any plugins, but do follow and subscribe to these streamers here. Call me, Mr. Miyagi will be joining. And Eldritch Imp. Also, Crimson, I forget you're a streamer. I have not streamed for the while. I play Zet Enigma, a Sphinx Satyr, College of Spirits Bard. Hello, darling. Nice. Pleasure to be back. Nice, nice, nice. All right, next person. Uh, I, I think Echo Bear is not here. Uh, he said he's a bit busy, but probably is going to catch up. Probably. We'll never know. So. And they managed to escape the basement. <laughs> I envy them. All right. Next person is a guy who's still wearing the two, the two eye patch and the pirate. Mick. Mick, would you introduce yourself and your character? It's a mission, okay. It's 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 a it's a fashion statement, okay. Okay. You don't get to do it. Okay. Hi, my name is Jasper, also known as Mick. Uh, I'm playing uh, Bilbo Baggins the Fourth. Yes. Uh, what? That, that is what? not your character's <laughs> name. What the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, oh wait, my I mean, we can know. Right. I'm playing a, a character Lie. that recently just came out of the closet and is currently confused on what to eat for breakfast. Oh, wait, no, that's a different character. Oh, let, so... let me grab my sheet real quick. Uh, <laughs> so you're gay. How? So you're gay. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I'm playing uh, an Asian dude. <laughs> Come on, go. Other sheet. <laughs> He's a. Uh, I'm playing, uh, oh my god, what's his name again? Oh my god, I what the, What's okay. his action do? What? Uh, Mikolith, yeah, I'm playing Mikolith. I half demon, half... What, what's it? Devil, half devil. Half devil. There you go. Crap, I forgot, it's been a while, you know, it felt like... It's been a while! Yeah, it's been a while. So anyways, yeah, um... <laughs> I'm actually the Pompadour, yeah. not the guy below the Pompadour. Uh, I'm a second hair that's controlling the body, yes. What the All right. Heck? Okay, okay. Wait. Hold on. Let me test the voice because sometimes it goes red and I don't want to go red with the audio. 
Hello. Ma, ma, ma. Hello. Testing. Stay safe. Mama. Mama. You know, it, it just Hello. occurred to me. Are, since we're in the, are we in your mom's basement? I am not. Is this where we're forced to play D and D in your mom's basement? This is not my mom's basement. This is my mom's attic. <laughs> this isn't the basement. This is not the basement. This is the attic. It was an illusion all along. The contract says we have to play in the basement. That means it's void, boys. It's void. The contract is void. It's new. The attic is the basement. Whoa. So that's why I could go out in, a, in, in two weeks. <laughs> if the basement has a floor below it, does that make it an attic basement? Huh. <laughs> We're getting interrupted. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good question. Yes. No fucking clue. If a house is underground, is everything called a basement? Okay. Okay. The point is, you're not all the basement. <laughs> You're in my attic. Aye, <laughs> okay. Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, yes. Captain. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Next, next player we're going to introduce <clears throat> is um, Vader. Would you introduce yourself and your character? Hey. Also, hey. also, um, Vader has uh, Vader is a new additional like. A traditional player. Also, to fully introduce your character, I'll give you the full screen, the full view. There you go. Oh my Yeehaw. god. Yeehaw! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I am your resident NPC for this game, Vader, and I am playing GURP. Uh, your good buddy old pal, peace domain cleric, divination wizard. Just here to have fun with my boy GURP. And all he's gonna say is gurpity gurp gurp. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, is it just me or Vader's mic kind of reverberating? Like there's an echo. I feel like that's the RP. Like it, it gurps. Gurp. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's built in echo. <laughs> when you gurp at the gurp, it gurps back. Alright. So, a little bit recap. Um. The the faction, which I already forgotten because it's already it's been a long time. Which faction is okay? The faction is I called think... the Knights of the Silver Order. Um, mm -hmm. trying to task you to get the scepter. The scepter is a holy relic belongs to a saint, and I they want to retrieve the scepter because. Reasons they didn't tell you why, but all that you know is, um, it's valuable, and you actually get paid for this. That is all. Money. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's kind of so. Anyway, you guys are headed to actually like the chapel of Saint Brenna, and. Mm -hmm. Around the Saint Bernard, you encounter like some puzzle, mummy mummified paladins that not infected by fire for some reason. Oh, yes. Oh, you mean, ooh, you mean, you been there? Yeah, I was saying, ooh, ooh. no fire. All right. And for that, what else? What else? I I guess that's it. You guys have the scepter. And we do. No, we don't have the scepter. No, it's, you. Uh, you have the scepter. What do you mean? Do uh, we still have the special rod? I I think the uh, the scepter is with Tia. Yeah, I I guess, I guess Tia will be with you. Sure. So anyway, you guys are actually right here, and what the fuck? Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, what's going on? Oh. Oh. Nothing. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh. Oh. Nothing, nothing. He doesn't uh, see that. Um, the chat didn't see that. Oh. The uh, chat didn't it's dangerous see. that it's coming out from Margo. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> there you go. So oh, you, my. you defeated the mummy. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop in. 
All right, you defeated the mummy, and and you have you guys have the scepter. For some reason, Zet just came back and say, "Oh, hello." Oh, hello, Hanson. Oh, he's gone. Hello. hello. Is that? What happened to you? We were all worried. I got lost on the way in. Mm -hmm. <sighs> How many bullets did I spend? Next time, we're yeah. sending out a bolo. Next time we don't we, we don't see you, I'm sending out a bolo, man. A bolo? Yeah, it's it's a thing where you know if you're a missing person, you send this out, and then the popos come after you. <laughs> I've had other things come after me before. Yes. Anyways, uh... wait, out of character. I since I'm I've been out for uh, a few weeks. I I know Gurp by now, right? Since uh, no, we all came in down down the no, catacombs. I'm assuming this is the catacombs. Sure. Actually, no. This is the first time you've seen Gurp. <laughs> uh, story wise, uh... <laughs> oh, uh... anyway, so started hugging people. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, you're, you're friendly, aren't you? Gurp, don't buy. Gurp, don't buy. Don't buy. What the <laughs> fuck is ah. that? Points the gun. I, I looked at Zed. I found a new pet. <laughs> Gurp! You really have a bad habit of finding pets. <clears throat> They're really friendly, though. Uh, DM, I, I'd like to roll for my spirit table. Sure. That is a seven. What is seven? Tale of the Big Guiler. This is my current, uh, what you may call it. The target is uh, the wisdom saving throw. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I can hold this for uh, ever on, or until I roll, uh, use it or roll again on the table. All right. Ha! Oh. Oh, Hi, yeah. Um,. Well, we have the scepter. Now what? Shall we leave? Mm -hmm. I start walking out. All right. Also, hold on. Uh, let me do this. Tia approaches its heads. Well, I, I guess I, I guess I'm gonna hand this scepter to you, the most um, trustworthy, least. Of I mean, one I'll of the trustworthy it, yeah. people. <laughs> I'm like, of course I'll take it, Tia. Tia raises it like five and feet higher. And she <laughs> said, Mikolas, shut, shut the fuck up. Here you go, Z. I grab Gurp. I oh, grab Gurp you. PM, And then nice. I, I race Gurp to grab the, the rod. Grab it, Gurp. And, Gurp grab it. and excuse me, I should bring this child and the turtle <laughs> back to the town. We'll meet you there. And right. peace out. All right. Nicholas, no. No. Uh, While they're yeah. all doing that, I'm surveying so, uh, everything I, in the area. I, I, look, I look at Kor, I look at Gurp and, and Zed, I'm like, okay, I found treasures. A mm. lot of them. Mm, do tell. I'm like, I, I found artifacts, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't grab it the first time around. Because uh, my robotic turtle was stopping me. And where might this artifact be? Uh, how are you guys feeling about desecrating dead bodies? No, no, please don't. I start desecrating the dead body. Gurp, <laughs> gurp, no, no, please. Don't, don't shit on the body. Oh wait, that's defecating. I look at that. We need those artifacts for repurposing. Yes, and well, you we've fought quite a bit together, and you know that I talk to the spirits, and the voices in my head tell me things. I'd rather not have them screaming at me for the next four hours. I point at the mummy. That thing kill, almost killed us too. Wait, can I look at ano, the artifact that were ano, being said by Micolette? That 
Oh no no, it's that is it's fair. It's not as powerful as or as important as your you know rod of importance. I'm I'm just saying it's like minor artifacts. It's not like we're ruining the crypt. It's more of like we're retrieving treasures that they don't need anymore. You know. Uh, that's what they want. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll um, show you guys. I'll, show you. I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I'll just show you. Hey, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, did someone survey this? I'm gonna... DM the rod is with me, right? Yeah, the rod is with you. Hold on. Uh, I'll show you the picture long, but not the description, because you guys haven't... Uh, you identify know, that. Identify. Yeah. It. Uh, I'm going to cast identify. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, shit. Okay. Yes. <laughs> DM. Well, I start stroking the rod. You can. Just tell oh my me, god. Uh, you can just tell Lano Z. All right. No, no, all this rod is not the only thing I have stroked. DM, I start stroking the rod and casting identify on it. All right, you cast identify to the rod and wait. Are you ritual casting or are you? Oh my! So the rod is called the Center of Saint (laughs) Vertebio. Is he? It is actually an artifact kind of a rod because it belongs to us, a famous saint in (sighs) Drakenheim. I would like to remember who the special religious being is. St. Baron. I, I look at that and I'm like, so uh, what does the rod of importance do? I would like to know more about this relevance rod. Well, um, as a spellcaster, we're limited to the magic that we can hold on to. The rod has stored magic in it. Oh. Apparently, we can cast a few spells using it. <gasps> uh, I, I raise my hand up. I'm like, can can I hold it real quick? I'm I'm curious if I'm gonna burn. Uh, DM, by identifying the rod, would I know it, like what it's made out of? At least, like, will it burn or anything? Well, <laughs> it is made some sort of a special metal. And okay, it's so a, it's a metal. It's steel. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's steel. Also, um, you can definitely sense a holy presence on this. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Um, Nicholas, you're, you're part devil, yes? Devil, demon, yes. Yes, I don't think you should touch this. Hey, come on, what can go wrong? Let, let me just, like, just, just a point, you know, just let me... Touch it real quick with a finger or something. Let me touch the tip. Just, just I just it. want the tip. Instead of DM, instead of him touching it, I I poke him with a rod. All right, you poke it with a rod. Okay, so here's the thing: uh, not damaging for the the demon part. It's more like a a little itch, like you're um touching a poison ivy. So there's rashes coming out of my lips. <laughs> my, my skin! I'm breaking out! <laughs> I, I, I warned you. <laughs> ah. I hate this place. I reach out my hand, looking as if I want to borrow the rod. I look at Gurb and I say, Oh, that, that's adorable. Fetch. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh I'll, anyway. I'll show you like, you know... I'll, I'll show you the stuff. Uh, go on. on without me. I'm gonna check this out first. What's behind uh, this? Uh, we're just circling around. Yeah, really? that, that's the. Um, yeah, that's like the the stone door. Yeah, yeah that's the stone we door. Can, uh, I mean, if you want, we can like, you know, go here first. Fine. Uh, we already yeah. know what's there, but the, um, go on. Yes. Using my upbringing and. Archaeologist background, I'm able to determine monetary value and history of anything older than, you know, a century. Question is, is it, this is this like sorry? Ins- is this like an instant thing or do you need like a roll thing for that one? It's a it's a feature. 
Da, 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 uh, okay, so hmm. All right, it's definitely made for humans. Okay. And um, is this mm-hmm. cave like very old? Because they're mummy, they're mummies already, so they would have been like five hundred years old or something, right? Yeah, the, you can see that uh, around it. You see that this is a crypt, and all of these mummies are paladins. So this is a very sacred area. For Ooh. paladins or clerics, this is where they buried the dead. Mm. Right. I don't feel so well about grave robbing this place. It's and believe me, I would. I look at it. It's not grave robbing. It's it's repurposing. I'm just imagining people. when Zet does the grave robbing for Dano on the paladins' grave. It's for us. Someone shouting this, work, this, work, this, work, this, work. <laughs> um, oh dear. Where is Margo? Where is Tia? Already left. Okay, let's make this a democracy. Who wants shiny things? I raise my hand up. <laughs> I also I raise also the raise pouch of up. 800 gold pieces that I have on me. Ah. <gasps> Yep. When did we get money? Oh, yeah, right. I hold all the cash. Exactly. We don't have enough money. Mm. Make a laugh. I really don't think it's a good idea to be going around this place. Uh-huh. It's... What can go wrong? A lot Another of things, mummy. actually. Another mummy. We no. already, like, we put mummy. this guy into, <laughs> like, you know, rest in peace. He's, he's gone now. The um is the mummy like back in the coffin and properly like in the coffin or is it just on the floor? Oh, he's technically ripped apart because we did rip him apart. Yeah, you so, guys ripped it apart. So it's okay, I'm I'm going to put the pieces back in the coffin and apologize to whatever spirits are in this area. I I'm like. I don't think he would like if I say something in the lines of uh, may Asmodeus guide your children. DM, I cast light on Nicholas Pompadour. <laughs> like, my eyes, I roll around on the ground. Alright. <laughs> I'll, I'll finish the prayer and then I'll dispel the light. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, prayers? How long is that prayer? It's just, a, it's like a short one, like 15, 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Just apologizing to the spirits for desecrating a holy area. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Easily done. Now, we should go. And I start walking. All right. All right. Oh, well, you know. I mean, the uh, job's done, uh, right? We're just getting the thing. Yeah, yes, yeah. we really sh- we really shouldn't be pushing our luck, especially that we're down three, four party members. And I think we've stayed in love long long enough in Dragonheim. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. also, is this guy yeah. coming with us? Or is or the- or let, 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 check this out, yeah. Check this yes. out. Yes. Um, I grab one of the amulets of All the right. dead body. You drop yeah. the amulet. You take one of the yeah. amulet. It's a holy symbol yeah, made I'm of like gold. I'm like grabbing it and then lifting it above the body. All right. So <laughs> what you guys see as he grabs it, you see that the undead rise from the cold. Mm-hmm. And then I put it back. back. And then I put it back. And as you put it back, <laughs> it just goes back to the script as in as this belonging return. Nicholas, what? I. Yeah, me and Tia did this earlier. I'm just showing you guys. And, you know. Oh, my horn. No. We're you getting. Sure? We're yeah, going I'm back here. up. Damn, I do the same thing over here. Damn, I slap his hand. Uh, Damn, I push him inside. All right, yeah, roll, me, roll me a check. Like, contest of, I don't know, acrobatics or dexterity. I'll do acrobatics. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me the do the the push. Nineteen. Let me do, let me do a, uh, what's it? 
dexterity Acrobatic. acrobatics. Right. Let's go. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Two. That's a five. Nineteen total for me. What do you guys roll again? Sorry. I'm gonna say we roll real dice here. Wait, Mr. Mango and Mick, what do you guys roll again? I rolled a nineteen. Ah, you roll a nineteen. Nineteen and three. Okay. So Zed, yeah, you slap uh Mikolas' hand before Mikolas do anything stupid with the corpse. I'm like, actually, Zed, I'm curious. What happens if we take the leg of this mummified creature and then take the amulet? What would happen? How about we don't test it out and Mm -hmm. we respect the dead? Yes? Okay, Okay, I guess. Unless you want to fight an overpowered undead that's infused with Drakenheim mist. Yeah, let's let's not repeat what happened in the rat cave. Yeah. Right, um, Cor? Oh, yeah. Do you right. feeling like Cor? the bottom of the feet of this, yes, the model? DM, I cast light on Nicolette's eyes. Not not anywhere else, just his eyes. Like, I, I poke him and I cast light. <laughs> Alright, blinded by light. <laughs> Somebody drag him with me. <laughs> Grab him one leg. I grab the other leg and we go up. Grab, grab the center leg. What? <laughs> my eyes! Ah, uh, DM, eyes. I ride on Mikolith. <laughs> okay. I'm fun. sitting on Mikolith! DM, we, we exit the this place. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. Right. Give me a sec. So, as you go up, and... Let's just say you are here. Wait, let me cover up some stuff. Mm. I forgot. There were some other retainers here, right? What happened to them? What? The retainers that was with Tia. Grrp, grrp, grrp. I'm like, I can't think my eyes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> my cool character, what language is Grrp speaking? I, I look at them, I'm like, I do not know. Out of character, out of character. Reader. Uh, out of character, it's Gerpan. Gerpanese. 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 Oh my, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Gerpanese. They're like neighbors of the long lost empire of the Japanese. Uh. Do you know which way to go? I point. To this area. I just came from there. I'm like, my eyes are like, <laughs> I don't know, I can't see shit. I pull out the. Anyways, I start walking this way. Yeah. You walk this Wait. way, you guys been there. Like, there's like a pathway over here, there's a door, and it's somewhere mm-hmm. else. I pull out the, no, the map that I make while I'm traversing this area. Yes, that was that's one of that would I what I would be doing if I was ano, in the session last time. <laughs> Does it point us to the direction where we ano, where we exit where we entered? Oh yeah. wait, 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 wait. Wait. Actually I don't have to seem to know where we're going. I know instinctively where you are. <laughs> you do have that week. <laughs> I nice. Nice. I don't have to see. I'm like, it's over there. Oh, alright. <laughs> the only side walking this way. We're right. still dragging Mikolev. <laughs> still dragging Mikolev. I'm still riding walking on that way. way. And you can, can see, see this shit. area. <clears throat> I can't yeah. see shit. But you know the way, right? <laughs> and that as you go there, I'm... you see one of the knights from the or. Uh, I forget the knights, the order of the the silver order knights. Yeah, that, the, that's what I mean. And they're still massaging the primordial creatures, and the creatures are actually enjoying it. Well, um, 
As uh, much as I'd like to join you, we should get back to Drakenheim. Uh, I, 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 I'm like, I turn left. <laughs> Wait, left. turn left? Okay, I, I start going up slowly. Uh, I turn I, right. I, 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 I use, like, my recent knowledge from Zet. I'm like, I think you're going the wrong way. Instinctively safe. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Okay, I, I walk down. Wait, hold on, uh-huh. and you see the one of the knights says, Wait, you're finally back. So, uh, uh, do you have a scepter? No, we don't. I, I look at them like, sadly, it was... Ho- right, it like- right now, we're currently regrouping, because we've taken a bit of damage, and we're about to go back in. We just need to find the other three. We got separated. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I look at them I'm like it was being held by a zombie mummified corpse. Every mm-hmm. time we touch it, it's like get going alive, and we're like, no, we're not dealing with that right now. So why, we're trying why, to figure out a way. Why are you defiling so, um, the graves of the holy men? We're not defi. Well, you want the scepter? We need to. Yeah, we're looking around the area to where it is. Listen, we were hired for this job. We know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let us do our job. And uh-huh. we'll have the scepter back soon. Yes? Uh-huh. Uh, just hey. a reminder, you guys already have the scepter, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're straight out lying. They are straight out lying. While they're doing that, I'm just but hugging why, them. Why, okay, I, I'm very confused. These guys are your retainers and allies. Why are you guys lying to them? Uh, we don't know what the uh, is planning for the scepter. Yes, that's basically it. What do you mean? It is exactly what Tia planned. Get the scepter, retrieve it to yeah, Ophelia, and impress her. I don't know, it, priestess we... girlfriend or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just we don't know if Tia <laughs> wants to do that right now. I like taking proper action. When the whole group yeah. has communed, rather than acting... No, no, just... Yeah, just give... just here, here, here's the, the thing, here's the thing. Just give them the scepter, because that's what Tia wants. Hmm. Look at that. Yeah, we don't have to, like, uh, lying out, give it... We don't have to lie the NPC and do whatever you guys want. We can just finish the mission, then you guys do whatever you want. Make a look, uh, this is what I meant about the voices. They're speaking to me again. And now I, I I'm not at, sure what to do. I'm look at Zed, but I'm actually looking at Cor- your call, man. <laughs> I caress Zed. Zed's face. Zed, give yes. me the scepter. Go. Go, go. <sighs> and then I walk away. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Are you sure? I, before if... you give it up, I'm like, mm. I forgot. I look at Zed and Cor. Specifically core, but I'm looking at Z. I'm like, huddle in, huddle in. Uh, I forgot a very important thing. We yes. cannot leave in the front door. Well, why? Why? I, I whisper, the Inquisition is here. <laughs> Wait, can I, do a, can I do a history check on what the Inquisition is? <laughs> There's no. like... Crusaders and paladins outside this church right now. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Let's see. Um, how about this? Mm. We can give this up there, but first we have to leave this place. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is that okay? okay. Let's okay. not give it here, somewhere else, okay. because it can't be... If we go out, it might be get stolen. Exactly. Mm. Is the bag we're holding with me, or is it with Margot? It's with Margot. Margot, okay. I'll just throw it in my backpack then. DM, is that okay? Can we give this up there once we've, like, entered a safe area? Did you actually tell the guards that you have the scepter? 
you're no. Gonna be, you're, you're gonna I'm gonna good. I'm gonna tell them that we have the sub. Okay, I'll tell them that we have the scepter, but we cannot pass it right now. We have to get to somewhere safe. It's a very dangerous item. And they said, "Why do you say so? We have to go back and we have the scepter. We're not gonna take your scepter." I mean, I never said hour, that. I said we just... need. I said we need that. We need to give it in a safe place. So we should leave. Why yeah, there are not... some safety protocols that we need to follow with us. Why are you people lying to us then? Oh wait, Just hold for on there. Safety. I thought I thought the whole lying thing got redacted. Um, force of habit, really. Uh, honestly, it's. It's just safety protocols. Mm. You can't. Well. You can't be. You can't be too sure. Yeah. Um, it is an artifact. You did say. I'm looking at the wall again. All right. So anyway, so the guards said, so, "All right, we're we're done. We're done massaging the primordial and the primordial sense." And the primordial sense. Ah, uh, so soon. Well, if you want to visit us, we'll be here in the crypt. We're really oh, here be now. Back, darling. Wait. You want to turn away? What? <laughs> Out of character, what kind of primordials are there? Um, they're, they're mythics. One of them like made of yeah. fire, one of them like made of sand or dust. One is made of like um, smogs, smoke. Okay. Just asking, just asking. Right. So, are there any other exits? Wait, this, uh, no? I, this... Instinctively, I'm like, uh, I, I asked the, uh, no, I asked the guards, are we expecting any guests, like, uh, I don't know, the Inquisition? What do you mean? We don't, we did have, uh, we are the Inquisition. Is there any other no, Inquisition like... there? Uh, cause uh, you you see, like one of our friends apparently saw a large group of uh, well, he, he did just say inquisition or like a group of people like chanting and stuff. Yeah. So, are we expecting any guests? Um, it's, no, yeah. we're here for expedition. I don't think there's there's anyone that guess, not even a right mind of people who would visit the chapel in Drakenheim. So what you're saying is you don't know these people. I don't even know what you're describing because if you say Inquisition, we are the Inquisition. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a different group of Inquisition, not just you guys. Well, if there's a large, large amount of people that's coming towards this direction, let's just be safe and find another way of exit. Okay. I think I know where we go. We should go if we want, like, avoid these people. So you don't know if they're friendly or not. Is that it? Is that? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not gonna touch any dead bodies anymore. Can you? Like the light. Fine, it's fine. I dispel the light spell on his eyes. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go, fellas. I think. Go ahead. Here, are you coming? If I, I would... remember correctly, it's here. How about you guys? You then... coming? I talk to the guards. Well, the dying positions. Go... Yeah, we're go. We're coming. If I remember my uh yep, you first my maps correctly, we should go up. Should go up, okay. Yeah, the the like up. yeah it's up the here. Door. Is that it? Yeah, yeah I have the thing, I'm not I sure. Go up it? the stairs. Huh. Okay. Yep, where are you going? You, you go, go up the stairs. You go up the stairs and you guys are here, you give me a sec. Is just, everyone just going stealth. upstairs? Stealth, boy, stealth. <laughs> <laughs> we started crouching. Okay. The DM, we approach Since we're carefully. doing that, I would like to declare this DM naturally stealthy. 
As a light foot halfling, I can attempt to hide even when I'm scared by a creature larger than my size. Yes, well, halfling. I would like to declare that. Sure. And I would you like and... to cast guidance while I try to stealth. I think you and Nicolet are the same height. Yep, we are at the same height. <laughs> All right. So remember the remember the exit is actually behind a such statue of another saint. Uh huh. Yep. And I forgot the other two guards. So give me a sec. Oh wait, they're wearing heavy armor. Fuck. Um. And What's the immovable I, I... rod, by the way? That would be so much fun. <laughs> oh no, we have it. I don't know who has it. I can think of so many things to do with that. Oh my Did goodness. Did we leave it on the... I think Margo has it. Okay, Margo has it then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't move my owl again, but I'll just declare that. Since oh. it's out of action, then let's just not. <laughs> so yeah. And then I point to Zed, like, see, those are the people, <laughs> those are the Inquisition. They am uh, looking at the Inquisition, like, do I recognize them? Well, not really, because you can see that uh, they're all wearing plain clothes, like commoner clothes. But so... Mm -hmm. But for some reason, the for some reason they are actually praying like a some sort of a holy person. Mm. Will you allow me to identify like the religion that they are a part of, uh, or like, and then uh, information about you know uh, what they are act or something? Actually, the two the two knights uh, the two knights said. Wait, I know these people. You know them? Mm -hmm. Are they yes. part of your chapter in the Inquisition or no? They, cl they claim they prayed to the sacred flame like us, but they prayed not the sacred flame. They're the followers of the falling fire. Followers of the falling fire. So we avoid them. Avoid them, they're heretics. Either either we're going to slay them right now because we don't like heretics in Dragonheim. Okay, wait, the, wait, both wait, of wait. you, listen to me, listen to me. We have a very powerful relic that we can't lose. It mm. is in our grasp. How about, yes, we leave. And then we can come back and kill all of them. I look at Zed, Zed. I got a brilliant idea. Fuck. Oh Hear my. <laughs> if I had a gold coin for every time you said that, I'd be out of debt. I give him a gold coin, DM. Alright. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're, you're paid? So oh, hear me out. Horses. Mm -hmm. We take them. Wait, no, those aren't our horses? Aren't those nope. ours? Nope. That's not ours. No, that's you. That's yours. The knights are actually riding horses. Oh, that's yeah. ours. Oh. That's not ours. We we walk here on foot. That's oh, theirs. Yeah. I was summoned yeah, from a bag. It's theirs, but yeah, yeah, theirs. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not ours. Theirs. <laughs> well, yes. I. Yeah. That that's a good plan. Um, my problem is. They're kind of close, mm -hmm. you know. So we need a distraction. <clears throat> Zed, hmm. I I grab Zed, but I what you call this? I nudge Zed. Zed, you got a minute? Sure. Come here. Do you yes. Have, I wish I whisper to Zed. Do you have the bomb? No, it's not with me. It's with Margot. Sh shit. That would have been good distraction. I should have killed some on me. Yeah. Same. Um. Hmm. They need another way. I, I, I grab Gurp, like I whispered. So Gurp, here's the plan. I'm gonna fly over, yeah? And yell, I'm bad person. And as I, they're distracted. 
take the horses, okay, girl? Oh, cool. Uh, I have a horrible idea. What is it? I could pretend to be a go- their god. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. That sounds it's, like a fun uh, idea. It's um, tempting, but I really sh- we really should be trying to get these horses. Yeah. Is there any way somebody could fly over there and bring the horses around uh, back? I Mr. have... Mr. Manango, if, if you actually remember the lore of Jackenheim, the gods... Gods don't care. The god, No, it's not gods don't care. The gods it does ha- doesn't have a physical appearance. Oh, I wasn't planning to appear physical. <laughs> nor nor they nor they contact like nor they have contact with the material world because although well, they're heretics so you know i'm i'm betting on their zealous belief but uh, you know I, I wasn't planning to it was just a to throw out as a funny joke okay i, I wasn't going to i was going to <laughs> oh that would have been so much fun though so okay. Maybe somebody can, one person can get the horses and bring them around back here, and then we could leave. Mm. That is Do possible. I hear this? Or are you all just whispering it on the corner? Uh, no, the rest of the conversation outside of the bomb is just yeah. normal speaking. Okay. You're all in, we're all in this. After the bomb part, we're all in this. <laughs> okay. Um,. Oscar, I'd like to tap on one of the <clears throat> people here who owns the horses, yes, I reckon. And uh, my owl would like to fly upon my quarter staff, mm-hmm. and Gerp would point towards my owl, um, which states... Greetings, gentlemen. My oh, master Gurp here would like to request your assistance in accordance in regards of getting your horses <clears throat> for travel. Well, aren't you an eloquent owl? Why do I hear British when I am? <laughs> but yes, um, we'd like to have your cooperation and uh, we'd like to have your horses. Come around, uh, and give us a means of transportation by placing them over here so we could uh, certainly um, evacuate from this area. Well, by all means. I think he's talking to the knight. I'm talking to the knight. I'm oh, you're saying... To the I... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'm really sorry, I did listen because I thought you guys are you guys talking to them. Uh, TLDR... I'm asking if, like, uh, we can get the horses here for an escape. I mean, you want us to get the horses to escape? No, no, no that's not, not the word necessarily. I just, uh, it's more like, uh, we'd like to have the horses here for extraction mm. purposes. Then how, We're not how escaping, we... per se. So how do we do that? We could send one person to drag all the horses here. Yep. That right. way we're not completely exposed and your armor doesn't, you know. Clink, clock, clink, clock. Yeah, you, you can uh, see that their armors are actually like chain shirts. It mm. still makes sounds. Also, I have a question. These are trained horses, right? You have trained horses? Yes, they are horses. Trained, not wild. Mm. So they have you gave them a command that keeps them silent, stop them from neighing randomly, right? That's not how worse. That's not how we train the horses. Mm. I thought that's what how that's how you train them. Never mind then. Girl, I saw you earlier. Can you do it? Gurp looks at Kor clueless. What do you mean? <laughs> um, actually, on another note, uh, how did those those heretics don't have horses, no? They didn't. 
Well, we could just outrun them if we rush to the horses. Or if we bring the horses around back and they see us, we could still get on the horse and leave. I'm pretty sure they won't be able to keep up. Mm. And if they do, Kor could always shoot them from the back of a horse. I could cast a few spells. Mm. Do you have a quick talking? question? I go on. I, I want to fly real quick, yeah? Somewhere over here. Uh, um, okay, wait, where are you? Behind the church. I, I'm going around. I'm going around while they're talking. <laughs> Uh, while this is happening, I look towards it, and, you know, as a part of his willingness to participate in this extraction plan, uh, he looks at that, and then he starts, uh, <clears throat> tiny little darkness things uh, within his hands, and, you know, implies that he could certainly do something with this. Wait. Oh, oh, see, uh, I have darkness, and uh, we, if you'd like and is interested, we can certainly do something with that. Wait, but you're that's cast- just. Uh... You're oh, I'm not casting it. Oh, no, this is my way as GURP in like showcasing I have the capability to. You know. But that's them. We have that. In GURP language, this is him saying, hey, I have darkness. <laughs> nice. What? Bravo. Bravo. So, yes. Oh, we'll see. If you want to do something like that, I have it. But. If we are chase, you could cast it behind us and they might stumble in the dark. That is true. Or maybe ready it as an action if someone gets alerted about the presence. Wait, get, would Nicholas get... go? He starts burning the tree. I start burning the tree. <laughs> you start burning the tree. Okay, you basically yep. burn the tree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I burn the tree and then I go from the back like, What's that? It's not fire? I yell. I yell, Fire! fire. And oh you my. <laughs> Yeah. You, oh you know, you know, I... you're in Drakenheim, and is this not like a sit, you know, an urban city populated people? It's like it's kind of normal if there's gonna be danger in Drakenheim. So, the yeah, yeah, pe- yeah. I, the people know, here... I wasn't expecting them. You know, I was trying to make them look at least, <laughs> or at least we'll see what the commotion all about. You know that. I don't really like. I know that they don't care. I just want them to look for like a quick second, and maybe we can capitalize on it. Uh, also, they're far away, and I don't think they have like a line of sight to see the tree. Yeah, I'm, I'm. That's why I'm yelling. I was yelling. Even the yelling, they actually don't care. Oh, they they're care? just they're praying. Uh, I, I see. I look at my party like waving my arms. I wave back. And I'm, I'm mm-hmm. signaling like they're not doing anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, what are they doing? Currently doing right now? Are they kneeling to this person in the front? They're actually they're actually doing some sort of a ceremony. They they're praying. I... They're preaching. They if we're quiet enough, if we're quiet enough, maybe we can get past them. Then use Grip's darkness as backup plan in case they get alerted. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna climb over this wall. DM, how tall is this wall? Do you uh, need a boost? Actually, not that tall. <laughs> it's like three feet tall. Oh, also, uh, I'll step over. <laughs> also, DM, how brittle is this? Ano? Is this? Uh, wo- is this ano, tree? You will know. Okay, I'm not that I'm not good with trees. Uh, you see Gurp in his four feet form jumping, asking for help. Gurp, Gurp, I boost you. Gurp. The, um, I I stealthily approach the horses. <laughs> All right, roll me a stealth Gurp check by the uh, by the scruff. I too would like to give <laughs> stuff, but <sighs> my stealth is I do not have proficiency. That is a 14. 
<laughs> yeah, you, you actually stealth. You can see that the the followers here, the fire, the followers of the falling fire, uh, did actually notice you with the with that roll. Okay, I would like to grab the reins of all three horses and slowly lead them towards the back of this wall. Uh, right. yeah. You're gonna roll me inside uh, animal handling with that. I thought they were trained. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Well, training to the knights, not you guys. <laughs> I too Fine. follow back, DM. Huh? I too would like to follow okay, alongside um, uh, Roll me stealth. stealth check for that. DM, I that, it. Is, that is a 4, and I will use Inspiration to get the reroll. Is that okay? Did we have Inspiration before? I don't remember. Every time we take a short rest, as a musician, I can sing a song and give people... Um, inspiration equal to my proficiency bonus. Did you get the nat one? No, I got a four. Okay, I was <laughs> just making sure. Alright, sure. I'll allow it. That's a uh, 17. Oh, better. Okay. Uh, Gerb, what are you doing again? Stealth? Uh, follow through with set. I managed to get a three in my guidance and actually a nat 20 here with a plus one. So it's 24. Okay, you you're, you're easily stealth. Nice. I just bring the horses around. I don't notice group at all. All right, you, you just bring the horses with your successful animal animal handling. Come on, we could be cousins, you know. I'm okay. What? <laughs> Cousin? Cousin? Trust me, anything with hooves. My dad's family is quite. Large. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, your part seat. Phrasing. Phrasing. So I look at the party, right? I start counting. One, two, five. Ooh, Make a <laughs> We're six. Well, two on each horse. Mm. Um, Core, I'm not so good with horse riding. Would. Mikaleth and I could ride with the guards, and yeah, could you, you handle one horse by yourself? I, yeah, I think actually, I can. I look at Zed. Speaking of handling horses, I have no clue. Yes, that's why you're going to ride with a guard. Okay, good. I just this guard. I, this speak guard. To the, I speak to the guards about the plan, um, mm -hmm. so... TLDR, two guards will ride the horses, Core will also ride one, and then me, Mikaleth, and Gurp will uh, second seat the horses. Alright, so basically, yeah, like, you guys ride the horses. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay. As a small creature DM, can I tag along as a third seat? <laughs> or is that not something advisable? Yeah, I guess you are. Yes. Thank you. Hi. Oh, this is great. Off to, uh... Off to... Back to the... Back to yeah. base. Back to base. Alright. Look at the guard when we're traveling, DM. And I'm like, so, uh... Can we keep the horses? No, we... <laughs> no, it belongs... No, it belongs to the faction. It's it's a borrowed horses. I, I guess I tried, you know, I tried. <laughs> All right. Please, you asked permission. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm so, imagining this overboard, the... right? Mm. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> just taking the horses. Huh. As, Anyways. <laughs> as we all are traveling, I'm going to be the one behind. So, you know, I'm going to keep watch if they notice us. But in the, no, in the back, of course, man, there's Western music playing. Ta -na -na. <laughs> Ta -na -na -ta -na. All right. All right. So you guys are the horses. Uh, you're all mm -hmm. actually avoided the cultist. And I am very surprised why the long hesitation, it will be like a simple stealth check. Well, you know. Yeah, we were overthinking. <laughs> the, um, yeah. at, at session one, you said... We could die at any moment, so we're just being careful. Yep. I am, but I'm still in Honestly, 
I heard Inquisition. You know, we assumed it was the Inquisition. So I'm like, nope. <laughs> I don't know. Now, because if I say like you guys gonna probably gonna die uh, from a some sort of in Drakenheim, I did mean like I, I did mean like um you've been seen and you guys instantly die. I mean like pick the monster, like pick a fight, just. Pick the kite, fight carefully, cause they, that that mm. monster Ooh. might be stronger. We don't, uh, we, we we don't know the that preacher what level that preacher was. He could have been a level two wizard. We wouldn't know. A preacher that's level twenty wizard. Honestly, damn it. You know, we're just being careful, cause not gonna lie, I <laughs> am out of second wind and action surge, and that's... I'm technically damaged. Also, after so, what happened in, to the Rat King, yeah, we're in, gonna be uh, guards up. Uh, RP wise and lore wise, Zeth has been hunted down most of his life, so he's naturally like careful. Um, hence all his hesitations to give the wand, to give information, to accept quests, and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I I had it built as part of his character because of the quest um like not really quest but the thing you asked us to pick like the thing so All it's right. part of his character so in anyway as you guys are going to head into the town right and re- mm-hmm. also guys do you do you still remember what you guys accomplished in drakenheim i was gone for three weeks <laughs> I'm a new I player, know, but the other players. I got mine. I got one. One of my to-do list crashed off. The Rat Prince. Man. I do remember, like, Pia being my manager at a bar. Oh, if it's this, then I remember that we did the we did two quests in tandem. One for Nicholas, one for me. At yeah, the yeah, Rapnas yeah. Tavern, we also eliminated Chorus um, Bounty. On our way back, uh, we declined the invitation for Margot to join uh, Mage Academy. Mm-hmm. We crafted some bombs. We were given three opportunity, opportunities to take quests. Mm-hmm. One of them is what we did just now, which is secure the scepter. Yeah, the potion thing. The potion we also thing. did that. Ah, the there potion. you go. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I need to report about the potion stuff. Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> We have done yeah. All right. I need the... Yep, uh, I'm gonna report back. All right, as you guys... all right, as you guys report back, traveling back to Emberwood Village. And this time, you guys are traveling by horses, so traveling will be fast. And nice. I want to, I want you guys to roll me a 1d4. One day four. Uh, sure. Oh no, Vader, Vader, Vader. You go. Yeah, I got four. All right, nice. good. Four dead. That's four Taras. So, four people. Uh, four. <laughs> You've been traveling through the city, and on the road you do see like the de- you see like the demise and the tragic around this part of the neighborhood, and. You see this fog, the fog, purple fog is actually like a glowing and uh, also question, you guys just going to resume traveling Emberwood, right? And you mm-hmm. guys are yes. not like ex- extracting like, extracting like delirium for, you know, extra cash. Do we have blast bottles? I think I have two more. Can I, uh, can I at least extract two? That's additional money for us, guys. Um, I have, yeah, my whole thing has, I have the entire kit to extract Delirium, if you want to. Uh, I'll be right back. Let's extract, let's extract some. Alright. Because you you all did say, we're out of money. (laughs) Alright. You you guys can actually roll me a perception check, let's see if you can find more Deliriums. I give Uh, guidance to... Our guidance. Okay. (laughs) I'll assist Core and okay, give him uh, advantage. I, yeah. Okay, perception. Core guidance. Okay. Seven plus four, eleven. Guidance. Thirteen. 
13. Uh, 13. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. Let's see. Let's see. You're outside. Okay. So, so far, you don't see any deliriums yet. But anyone else like to search either than you, other than Crimson? I'll give it a go. Yeah. I'll give you guidance then. No, I'll help action grip. Ah. Uh, can I also try? I'll, you know, while Zet gives me guidance, I give <laughs> Zet guidance back. Okay. Yeah, can I try? Can I sure. also try or just one person? Hey, uh, plus two on try. guidance. Okay, let's go. Double the dice! 10, 9, so it's 10, uh, 17, plus 3, 20, plus 1, 21. Nice! Okay, alright, this is a success. So, yeah, okay, I looked at the DC, actually 40 is a success pala. So, nice. anyway, anyway, uh, you get... As you can see, you do have found like some sort of a, a hint, and it's possible that you might gonna lead to some sort of a ruin. A ruin. Yes, and if you wanna search, and if you wanna search for more of the ruin, I think you have to give me another survival check for that. I look at Zep. Quick in and out. Uh, if we get into a skirmish, we head out immediately. Uh, right. Quick, okay, go ahead. I'll do it. Oh, you're doing it. Um, if you'll allow me, DM, will you allow me to remember or like, uh, go and like find something relevant about this place, the ruins? Uh, like maybe it's like history and it's past or whatnot. Yeah. So, all right. I, I think I think it's fair because Vader did. I didn't discuss Vader with the lore of Drakenheim. So basically, Vader, uh, Drakenheim is an abandoned city because it's been hit by a meteorite, and you do see like there's a big meteorite in the map, and mm -hmm. that's how like the fog spreaded and mutation happened, and Delirium is a very dangerous crystal. But it's actually also useful for converting magic item or you sell it with the highest price. Depends on the size of it. And you know that uh, ru ruins are all right, area with the ruins. Usually you can find delirium around ruins. Ah, okay. Thank you. Check it, appreciate it. Noted. So no I need like one more survival check for this. Uh, it, I'm uh, go it. ahead. Start your survival. Uh, guidance, advantage, whatnot. Um, Who's helping me? It's just me? I can give you guidance. All right. I can help. I'll assist okay. core. Let's go. Wait, this one's cocked. It's a 12 plus... Four, sixteen, then a guidance. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. And for that, you do found a ruin. So I am going to roll something. Uh, if you guys find some ruins. Yes. Go ahead. Intermission time. Do, 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 do. So, do, do, do. as you can see, you found like a settlement. As you can see, this this um district. Also, I hear like a feedback. I don't know who that is. Hello. Is that mine? Is that mine? <laughs> Test. I, I I don't know. Hello, hello, one, hello. Two, one, two. Testing. One, two, three. One, no, two. Now I'm three. supposed to say testing because I hear myself. Test. Hello? Alright, let me mute and then if you still hear it, it's probably me. Alright. I, I tried before. Hello, hello, hello. 
Hello, hello, hello. I did hear any it's... feedback. So it's not from mine then. Hello, hello. Okay, I, I think it's good. I didn't hear any feedback anymore. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> and now, now when I raise my voice, I hear feedback. Oh wait, it's it's Mr. Manango. I hear it from Mr. Manango. Oh, Mr. Mango, you there? Yes, I'll just uh, push the top. Okay. So you do see this ruin, and you see like roof, um, no roof of all the buildings, all those um, all those broken walls, and you can see that. Um, all right, who's doing the survival check again? Uh, Cor. Chorus. All right, All right Cor. Oh, you briefly remember one of the memories of your childhood. Can you remember what it is? Wait. If it's about my childhood, I'm not. I'm, I'm not from Drakenheim, but. Mm. Yeah, no, you're not from Drakenheim, but just your childhood. Okay. I remember from my childhood. I was with no one. Couching behind the bushes, talking ano, my meal for the day, which is ano, a deer, slowly approaching it. Then as, as I was about to, ano, I go closer, closer. Being stealthy, looking around my area, so ano, I yes. don't raise the, the alarm of the deer. Then I grab my knife and I start, ano, I start slashing at it. Yes. Right and behind that, you know, the head. And that memory is actually on the front door of one of the buildings. Do we see it as well or is it just core? Are, are you also are you also looking the same direction as core? Yes. Yeah. You also see that, but instead of core's childhood memory, you also your you also see your own childhood memory. I say out loud, I can't be the only one seeing this, right? You're seeing me hunting a deer as well? No, I'm seeing myself fly around with my mom. Hmm. All I'm seeing is me sitting on a uh, swing while the children are playing. Oh my. <laughs> you see <laughs> Gurp just laughing his ass off. <laughs> For no goddamn reason. <laughs> Other with it. his memory of just sucking his thumb. Um, <laughs> they're calling me abomination for some reason. I... The, the, um, how many days have... How long have we been inside Drakenheim? Uh, just a couple of hours. Let's just say like a good four and five hours. Estimation. Four to five hours? Yeah. Cor, do you really think we should be going in? We're seeing different visions. This could be dangerous. Yes, gonna, and we've been here quite a bit. I'm gonna just take a quick look around. No, no outside delirium, right? I, 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 I didn't say I didn't say you found found a delirium. I you didn't find a delirium. I'll say I did say you found a ruin. There's like a possibility that there's a bunch of delirium. Because you can yeah. find delirium in the ruin. I look at every part, at everyone. How good are you with the you know, your spells today and your supplies? And I look at Uncle. I'm like Uncle. I might be wounded, but I'm still willing to go. We're ready here. Let's just do it. Listen, if it's a, if it's a combat thing, I'm ready. I'm all for it. But remember. Ludwig did say that the longer you stay in Drakenheim, the more likely you're going to be exposed to the haze. We've been here a couple of hours already. I think we should just leave. I draw, I draw a quick sketch on the map, marking this place. We'll yeah, that's, back to this or, place later. that's a good idea. Right. Head head so we're already here. Let's just, so basically, let's just do it. you guys have found a ruin, but not you guys not going to find any more delirium. Um, yeah, we're not going to continue. Not today. Maybe next time. 
Unless right. Vader has something special Would up his sleeve. you allow my owl to scout around the area? Uh, I'm not a good idea. No, I think... No, no. no. I have like an area of you or somewhat. Is, uh, your, is your owl an actual thing or is it a familiar? It's a familiar. Oh. No. <laughs> That's 10 gold. True. And really? gold here is technically like 20 gold. Right. <laughs> so, no, I don't think I know. As you, the, as you know, you we let know. your owl scout yeah. in the sky. Oh, oh, this is an inquiry. Um, I'm just like asking if we should do it to the party. Sorry. But yeah. I mean, it's not an actual owl, it's a familiar. So, oh, it's a familiar. Cor will give it a go. The go signal. I'm gonna get back on the horse, and I don't plan on entering. I have the relic with me. Mm. Okay. I mean, if we're just, if we're if the party consensus is to basically just like leave it be, then yeah, yeah. we're we're leaving. We're leaving, I guess. Mm. Okay. Abandon. Unless the you guys want to flip a coin. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm gonna lie, I'm like, I'm kind of disappointed, because we're like, oh, we're already here? I'm like, man, ah, oh, shit, if f- only we have. Okay. Sure. Right. Uh, let's go along. Let's okay, just okay. give it. Sure. Alright, so. Give me a sec. What would? All right, so what the freak? All right, sorry, sorry. My audio is actually pretty high right now because I see red all over the place. And Did you see I, red? Yeah, I, I think, I think I put my audio too high, and I think I put like the gains too high. Oh, I see. All right, testing, testing. All right. Hello. I think okay. I think that's better. Okay. All right. I as you guys are traveling, uh, actually, you're searching like an entire hour for a ruin, and decided to abandon the search of delirium and proceed to Emberwood Village. Mm. So, for that, you guys have returned Emberwood. Oh, so, uh, I immediately look for Tia and Margot. I actually, I I look at that. You know, usually it's Tia that comes with me. You you wanna come with? I need to report about the potion. Sure, but uh, first things first. I should let Tia deliver the scepter, not not me. I'll go with you after. Okay, yeah. I, I guess I'll, I'll, say, I'll wait here outside. I'll say you can give it to Tia Naman and uh, yeah, and just give it to Tia and you do whatever you want. Yeah. All right. But, I guess we're going, we're going to the potion, uh, like to report on my mission. Uncle, you want to come with? Let's just mm. say Gurp is with you. <laughs> I do. I want to ask about the skin that I just carved from the monster, but... Alright. You know what? Yeah, I'll come with you guys. Alright. Yeah, we we go to, like, the... Who did that? The Wang family. Wang! What do you mean? What do you mean, the Lang family? Yeah, yeah, we're going there. The Watchtower. He means means the Watchtower. Yeah. Stop saying when, goddammit. <laughs> so, oh, see, if we're in Emberwood, mm-hmm. do we have like a reset for like the mist thing that you'll know, say, like the infection? Uh, it's sort of like, so it's something like that. Like, we basically are like not exposed to it, so we're less likely to contract it. Because the longer you stay in Drakenheim, like, the, there's the a higher high- chance yeah. you'll get. Um, yeah. Exposed. exposed. Yeah. In, in other words, don't do long rest inside the city because there will be consequences. Yeah. 
And the DM already said like we spent like four or five hours there, so I, I didn't wanna push it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Mikalith and Core, right? Yeah, I think everyone's coming. Yeah. For some reason, we can't grab the owl. It can't be enough. It can't be moved. <laughs> the owl can't be moved. That's... I am now cannot move. That can be a song. I, I, I started yelling. I am the owl that cannot move. All right. Yeah, I started yelling, calling them out. Hey, hey, green. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I knock on the door normally. I start waving at them. Oh wait! Don't approach the gate. They're. <laughs> the first, time I approach, first time I approach this place, they. They aim both their bows at me, so you know, just yeah, uh, just, just call them out. <laughs> All right. So if you remember, Rain High, Rain Highlash, is the one who actually told you about the potion for the jobs, and you see mm. this mus mustache, a bearded looking guy with a hood, and uh -huh. it's so. What's the news? So, uh, here's the thing, okay? I'm phrasing, I'm rephrasing it based on what you said, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. You can shoot him, I'll just heal him again. Take me, I look at that, come on. <laughs> Go on. Why? Take me. What do you mean? I thought you were one of us. Yes, yes, I'm just saying. Why I would might I be would, why would I shoot you? Very bad news. Anyways, I just start waving at them. Hello. I put you up on the head. Go on, me. Go on, Nicole. Go on. Keep telling them. The, the, the wizard said that. Stop rushing him, and it's your fault why the potions are fucking contaminated. How is that I our fault? Oh wait, wait, DM, uh, do we have a sample of the potions, the contaminated potions? Yeah, they, I do. I do they, have one. They do. You have I one. Mean, the okay, faction, okay. The faction actually gave the faction actually gave me collect the sample. Ah, yeah. okay. DM. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mikalev, could I see that potion really quick? Uh, sure. I mean, don't drink it. It's contaminated and yes, it's yes. evident. Hi, I give it to him. Yeah, my cast identify on it. What's wrong with it? <laughs> you cast identify, and I am going to roll something. So give me a sec. Sure. So yeah, uh, like I'm just saying what the wizard said. It's your fault. You should have guarded the the potions better. That's why they got contaminated. I give yep. a deep sigh. <sighs> That's not all of the message, Picolette. Damn it. No, or actually, that. Would you like to fill in? Yeah. So. The details. So the reason is why. The potions are being laid. It's because Oscar Yorin is experimenting on a potion that I know helps people dive, dive deeper into Drakenheim without being affected by the mist. Then, but it's being delayed because they lack the key, the key ingredient for it. That's why the potions are delayed. Hey, I mean, guys, just give me a sec because I'm reading some stuff. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh that's what we were RPing still. Having like a, a, me a small meeting, and then we're having a small meeting here. So, uh, oh, so anyway, while Zed yeah. is identifying it, I'm also double the identifying. Nice. <laughs> double Perfect. the power. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I, I look at Zed then for. I went to a bar, uh, like, earlier. I turned my back and I tried to focus on identifying it. 
I'm I beat up someone. <laughs> I'm just there scratching my chin and nodding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, I got a girlfriend. I know her. Bullshit. All right. All right. So I, you identified the potion, right? Yeah. All right. Hold on. I'm gonna roll the thing now. We are now, now doing double the identify to the potion. You know, okay. just using spell slots. Why not? Okay. <laughs> so I am ritual casting it. Okay, ritual so... casting takes ten minutes. Exactly. Okay, You're doing so... the short version. I'm doing the long version. <laughs> Sorry, DM, go on. All right, so you look at a potion, you try to identify it. It seems it's just a regular healing potion. But it's contaminated, right? They claim they're contaminated. I mean, some of the potions are contaminated. It's more like there's actually some chances... That it might be contaminated, but that's like a slim chances of contamination. So there's a 25 by 75 chance. So there, the potion that I identified, like, it's clean. Yes, there's for a- now it's clean. Mm. Yeah? Okay. Well, I'm still I look at the I look at the hooded guy and I say. Well, I just checked this potion, and it appears to be clean. I think the rest of the potion are contaminated. Wasn't this a contaminated sample? I look at them and I'm like, well, they did. I asked for a sample for proof that the potions are contaminated. And this is the potion that they gave me. Huh. Uh, oh. DM, what, what's the name of this guy again? <laughs> uh, his name is Rain. Rain. Rain? I asked Rain, um, this potion that is supposedly contaminated is clean. It's not contaminated. You know what? We can do this the long way or the easy way. I grab the potion from Zed. I raise it above his head. I fly and I grab it. I grab Dana. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to contest sleight of hand versus his speed. All right, go I, ahead. I, I grab Nicolette's wing to stop him. Get down here. Yeah. We're gonna do this. All right. What's my? What am I rolling? That is a seventeen plus five, twenty-two. I, I don't know what my, uh, what I'm contesting. I don't I'm, know what I'm I rolled sleight of hand. What am I gonna roll? I don't know. What are you using? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what? Can I roll uh, with the DM, magic? What is the contested roll? I just roll, just roll like uh, dexterity, or if you want to dodge it or something. Right? Nope. Damn, I couldn't I do it. perception. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Nope. Nope. I, I couldn't do it. Would that? Uh, would it? I rolled a nine for grabbing the wings. <laughs> No, 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 I couldn't do it. God damn it. Foiled again. Uh, Alright. Yeah, potion slam. Do that. Uh, so the um, core told Rain that the reason the potions are delayed is because the wizard is creating a new potion that allows adventures to stay longer in Drakenheim. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you're saying this and not the... Um, and not the rookie that we're supposed to send. The rookie's with us. us. The rookie's with us. Yeah, technically, they're with me when we entered the place. He's a good fighting insurance, and we're good information insurance. Mm. He does so, not. Surprisingly, you did forget to mention that the wizard was actually a necromancer, too. Just oh, so. yeah, that's also an. <laughs> You did not disclose what? that information. We, 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 don't, we don't care. We don't care if he's a necromancer or whatever he is. It's just, if he knows potion and he sells it, we don't care the background. Can you at least care for the rookie? Out of curiosity, how much are you paying for these potions? They sell it for cheap. When like and 
and I don't I don't do like the stocks, so I heard that the the man selling like cheap potions. And we definitely don't want to buy potions from the Amethyst Academy as sometimes they overprice the potions. Uh, potions are hard to come by and it takes an exceptional chemist. Mm -hmm. Of course. Well, anyway, we've delivered the news. Um, I'm guessing he gets his pay now. Do he, does he even get paid? Actually, yes. Do you get paid? Looks at it. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, pretty sure we are. I assume that everyone... I assume that this is the party that this rookie... Um, this rookie said, right? Yes. I mean, there's more. We're half of the party. Mm. Right. Uh, he said that it's the payment is like 250 gold pieces each. Each? Yeah, each. Oh, my. 250. Oh, wait. Holy shit, wait. How many are we total now? We're uh, seven people. Seven, so everyone is like... Each of you guys have like 127. Ma. Alright, okay, sorry. I'm Does the, the audio. owl count? 1.7k. No, the owl Gold pieces. doesn't count. <laughs> guys, I forgot a very important part, guys. What, what is, is it? it? I showed that my sword. Your sword? Yes. Oh, that sword. Damn it. I I look at Zed. Uh, just just to let you know, because you know I feel like you were out. I knocked out a sword mimic, and I have it. You Wait. you have a mimic on you. Yes, this sword. Is it dead? Unconscious. Please keep it unconscious until we find a cage. I'm keeping it as a pet. Yes, cage first. That later. Yes. Uh, also, yes. I, I forgot to mention, uh, they did say that you guys earn a boon from them. Ooh. Yeah. A boon? Yeah, because if ever you guys uh, finish this mission, uh, they give you... Uh, make, they actually gonna teach Mikaleth that the Hooded Lanterns keeps hidden stockpiles around the city. So they actually teach Mikaleth like where to get the uh where do you find like the hidden stockpile around the city? What wherever your direction is, you can actually do a long rest in a very safe area. And you guys like heal you guys have like a supply of healing supplies. So what you're saying is we have safe houses. Yes, you have a safe house. Nice. We have a save point. Yep. Ha. Uh, I, I raised my hand. Ha. I'm like, can you make a map for us? I, I feel like I can't memorize all of this. Yeah, they definitely make a map for you. Right. I, I look at that. I think you can copy this? Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, Rain, would it be okay if I brought this back to our place for a while? I'll make a quick copy and give this back to you. Sorry, this is only the eyes for the members of the Hooded Lanterns. But it's for Mikaleth. It is for Mikaleth. Yes, but this is but only Mikulith. the eyes for the Mikaleth. Right, uh, okay. I I'm, I'm taking it back, I guess. <laughs> okay. No really? problem there. Wait, you're taking back the boon? No, no he's, like, he's keeping the map, not giving it to me. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, that's cool. Of course, yes. We just need to trust Nicolette on this. Oh, he did get us out of that place, so... Mm. Yes, uh, yes, and poor I eyesight, but good uh, sense of direction. I was blinded <laughs> too, by the way, when I let you guys out of the thing. <laughs> I, I think that's uh, I think that's that for the hooded lantern. Thank you, I, gentlemen. I look at the, the party, not gonna lie, I'm kind of 
poop because I came from a bar fight. I took a small nap. I'm really tired. Um, yes, yes, we can head back to the BNB. Yes, go. Uh, DM, I'll take uh, the gold reward and I'll keep it with me and I'll give Cora a hundred gold pieces. Why a hundred? Didn't you say you lent me a hundred to finish? Oh no, this was before we got the. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> no, you lent me, so I'm giving back. Okay, okay. So, um, this bone, do, do you. Can you, like, send over the deets on chat? The chats? The deets of the chats? The deets the of, the, of the boon. Alright, alright. Oh, uh, it's, oh, no, it's just safe, safe house. That's it. It's just yeah, safe just, house. Uh, yeah, I was just asking, like, I don't know. Like, if you could post the description in the chat, if possible. That's all. Oh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we can go safe house now. No, we're not uh, going to right, safe house. Right, right, hold on. on. I'll, get, mm-hmm. I'll send you guys information along if you guys really want to know. All right, here you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'm not gonna read it, so I'm. I'll be surprised when it actually happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, current party gold is now at two thousand seven hundred sixty-six gold pieces. Nice. I feel like we're still poor. <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, if you divided, mean. if you divided by seven, then we're only four hundred gold pieces rich. Yeah. 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 Through that too. Yeah. So, where do we give the stuff to? Oh, um, oh, I left it with Tia. Yeah, it's with Tia now. Yeah, it's for Tia only. It's uh, it's Tia. only right that the one who accepted the quest is the one who delivers the item. Uh, yeah. I'm 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 poop guy, so I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna take a nap and yeah. wake up tomorrow. What okay. time is it actually? Oh no no. Out of character. What time is it? Time? I think like um, it's around like six or seven. Six or seven. Okay. PM. Yeah. Yeah. I What's think up? I'll I'll head to the caravan after this. A caravan. And no no. To the no. What you call this? Where? Was it Armin? Ah, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Give me a mm. sec. Actually, uh, give me like a quick BRB for a while. So, uh, guys, be right back. I am going to do the intermission, and I guess I'll give you guys like a five minute break. Pa. Got it. All right, gotcha. All right. Well, are we going off like off stream? Like, no, it's just a rest. Yeah, it, it's just okay, it's just off strings for now. Oh, so we just like we can just RP for chat to watch. <laughs> uh not really. It's more like I am going to intermission no. for the. Chat. Oh, inter. Okay, okay, okay. No.
Want to send DM? Two. One. Right. Ah, no. Alright, we're Lucy. live. Hold on. Something Some... weird. Some there you go. Change for me and be so okay, I'm nice. up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I think my audio is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Anyway, so... Now we're back for the break, so what do you guys want to do next again? Um, uh, Nicholas and I, and I'm assuming Gerp as well, had went back to the b, &B. I okay, think Kor is going, going to speak to Armin. Armin, yeah. All right. I'll stick with Kor, so he has someone with him. Alright. <laughs> okay. So... I serve no purpose, but I just want Kor to not be lonely. <laughs> Alright. I've been alone for 40 years. I don't know what you mean. Oh, wait, wait. Before we part ways, I asked Kor if he can purchase a cage. How big are we talking? Enough for the mimic, mimic bro. <laughs> Looks as the side. Yeah, I'll try buying some. Alright, I'll leave you 300 gold pieces. Gotcha. Uh, you forgot to add one gold, the one I gave you. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so we now have 2,767. Nice. <laughs> nice. That one gold will count. Oh, one gold. But yeah, I have a... Yeah, sure, you can take the remaining 14. Because <laughs> I have 15 from my class. Right. It's just... Okay, okay. There you go. No, you keep some on you. I, yeah. Their times will be separated, so just keep some on you. All right. Yeah. I have nothing. I gave all of you gold. <laughs> All right, Cor. Oh. Uh, yeah. What do you, what are you, uh, what are you planning again? I'm gonna talk to Armin and I'm gonna go. Armin, you there? And you can see Armin says, "Oh, it's you, Mister Cor. Mm -hmm. How can I help you?" Also, I forget the voices of the NPC because it's been a very long time. It's been a long time, man. Yeah, it has. All right. I is there a, ta a table nearby? Hey, it's a it's a caravan. It's an open place. There's actually no table, but except just carts. Hey, and wagons. I pull out. I pull out from my bag the two skin, the no, the two skin of the creature that I skinned. The one that was a no, hard to hit. Apparently, know anything about these kinds of creature? Hmm. Wait. Are these infected skins? <gasps> Probably. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Can I? Can I have it a little bit? I give him one of them. All right. He wears like a a very thick leathery gloves. Then he threw it to the fire. <laughs> uh. Those are contaminated skin from the fall from the fallen citizens of Drakenheim. Why are you skinning contaminated people? Thought they'd be useful. Never thought they were people. They were They were mutated. They were citizens. We don't know if you actually have a skin of my family or something. I I throw one of I throw one of them as well in the fire. Right, anything okay. else? Anything is available. Hmm? Wait, what's the question again? Anything valuable. Anything valuable? Hmm. Do you know about? We have encountered a place where no. There was a mural. Do you know about the place? It was a. It has a mural that. A different person sees something different from the others. Do you know anything about that place? No, I don't. There's a lot of things happening in Drakenheim. We don't know what uh what Drakenheim do. They might have a change after the past fifteen years, I see. It's only been like ten years. Wait, is it ten years? Sorry. Yeah. For me it was fifteen. 
So anyways, uh, that was my inquiry. I was but also gonna ask, do you have a cage of some sort? Cage on mm-hmm. request, but I do have a, I do have a cage. Can you? Can I see the selections that you have right now? Right. Are, are you looking for a bird cage, a cage for a wild dogs or wolves? What kind of cage you're looking for? Maybe the one for wild dogs. Right. That will fit. There will be ten gold pieces. Ten gold. Yes. Mm-hmm. And how much again for the containers for you know, uh delirium? Was it was it two gold? I uh, know. Out of character, I forgot. Wait, I have the thing here. I think it's like glass vials times two. Yeah, no? glass bottle for gold. That's for gold. Yes, two on the DMG PHB, so four gold pieces a uh, bottle. Uh, and as, take- uh, mm-hmm. as she starts saying the price, Gurp just pulls out his twenty-two gold and start handing it. Handing it to Core behind his back. I close Hello, Gurp's fist. Keep it. That's yours. Anyway, Armin, I'm buying five bo- glass bottles in that cage right there. That's right. about it. Five bottles, so two, four, six. Yeah, so that'll That's be total ten. 20 gold. 20 gold, okay. I still have done. <laughs> yeah, basically. I, so still, I, I still have two gold on me. <laughs> Perfect. The three hundred, I mean. You wanna use the two, the two hundred to pay for? It? Nah. Alright, that's it. Ah, oh, wait. This is gunpowder or black powder? What? What's the uh, What's the thing used for guns here? Yeah, just gun pow- Just gunpowder. How? How much for a keg of gunpowder? Hmm. Or we make those. We made all right out of character. You guys made those, but oh, oh we, we actually have the formula for gunpowder. We have yeah, that, right? Like, redact, redact, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> you, the most you can do is maybe no, actually, everything can be made by us from pee, poop, and charcoal. <laughs> that is true. That's the components no, for no, gunpowder. Hear me out, hear me out. You mm. continue the conversation, you ask for the selling price so you can. You know, you get a uh, you get the situation of the marketplace. <laughs> Do I look like someone at this market? <laughs> but go on, go on, Liam. Uh, how much was it? What do you mean? How much would gunpowder be? Okay, so usually a a horn of gunpowder is 35 but since this is double it's like total of 70 gold pieces okay mm-hmm. 70 gold pieces so 70 a horn okay yes mm-hmm. um hey, if you pounds. if you did know vader um everything in this shop is all over price all over that's that's why we need enough uh your citizen card. card oh that too that too Delirium, my citizen card. Oh, wait. I forgot to. Wait, that's 30 gold. Then 20%. 13 times 0.2. Then so so. Oh, kind of... no, never, never mind. Ugh. I think that's, enough. that's about it on my side. Ah. Fuck. So you paid 20 gold. Yeah. Or, you know. Well, thir- yeah, 20 gold. Anyways, I mean, thank you for this. I mean, I remember this. I remember, I know. I remember not to skin anything that might be human in Draken. All right, good to know. So, yeah, you still have the 300. Mm-hmm. So you can keep it clean. <laughs> Make the number nice and round for the bank account. Right. As uh, now, right, hold on. I'm giving it back to Anna. Hold on, on. Gurp, as you pass by and you said, and you hear a, like a booming voice from this guy. 
Well, hey, hey, hey. We got a small guy over there. I never seen you before. <laughs> this is, this I is, just this look at him. There. And I, I, I walk by. And I smile at him. Good. Oh, don't go away. Don't you want to buy some magic items? I shake my head. And I continue onwards. Mm -hmm. the guy, what was this guy's name? His name is Aldor. Aldor the Immense. Aldor. Why did I not write this down? Fuck. Aldor the Immense. I don't know what spell it means, but go on. <clears throat> hey, Aldor. What you got in stock for us today? Oh, the orc is interested. All right. Give me a sec. <laughs> Everything on the PHP. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Here's the list. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, hold on. This time I hey. come. I come prepare. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. All right. Where... It took us three IRL days to figure out what item we should get because the DM said, "Oh, just to the PHP." I'm like, "Huh? That's like over 250 magic items." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I like a folding bolt. Just kidding. Let's see. Wait, that's that's not it. Oh yeah, there it is. Area details. Let's see what can I do for you. The deck of many things. No. <laughs> All right. So okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I, I am gonna roll something and let's see. That's some hard typing, I mean, like, or right. the dice. Alright, this is Kevin's stock, and I and I have a one, a new magic item. And... Hey, let's see, what are you selling? <laughs> and give me a sec. Let's see. Did, did I finally roll it? Nice. Have you ever heard of the Eye of Bookworm? Eye of Bookworm. Hey, you say you haven't, but what is it? It seems, <laughs> it seems that my fight, it seems that a certain website to find the item is not in register yet. I have to go to error. I have to go to the log books and let me see what it does. <laughs> go back to the intermission. No, that's too long. <laughs> oh shit! Oh 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 oh! Check on Captain Google. I'm Google. Wait, go, I have go. the bookworm. There's gonna be a time where I get there. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna be looking for a specific magic item. Useless magic items that I have a list of. Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> the Eye of Bookworm. And you can see there's this small glass sphere. Enchanted, like there's like a weak divination magic. And he says... Alright, I'm gonna speak in mechanic-wise instead of role-playing-wise. As mm -hmm. you can see, this eye, this glass eye... You can use a bonus action to speak the I command word aloud, followed by the word of the phrase you're searching for. The word or the phrase a magical appeared and floats within the sphere. By holding the eye in your free hand, your vision becomes magically enhanced. So subconsciously highlight the word's face and search for a green light whether you see it. Once you use the eye ability for the first time, you can change the word phase many times as you like for the next hour, after which the item can be used again until the following dawn. Once a day... Is it basically a control F? Um, I 
think it's better if I am going to give you the magic item, but the description of the magic item. I feel and like basically is, um, like control F and then changing the words. <laughs> I I think this is uh, more of like the magic mirror from Shrek. <laughs> what? The way show, the magic mirror? Show me Fiona, and it shows you Fiona. All right, uh, well, here you like, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic mirror, mirror on the this wall. It's enchanted oh, magic. Fiona. Technically, that's that's it, Thanks right? Command word allowed. Tom. Uh-huh. Anything else? Yeah. Apparently, that is the only new item mm-hmm. I have, unless you want this very rare one. What is it? Let me, let me check let up me, the rarity first. Let me find the website for it. <laughs> no, I have no. Oh, this can be a magic item. So, I, I have this crazy idea of a magic item, guys. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, it's a book. Yeah, it's just a simple book. It doesn't really do anything. So what happens is, yeah, that book automatically writes itself. And what's written is whatever happens within like three hundred feet of you. And then, feet. yeah, and then next day. It removes the page, it clears it up, and then it writes another page. <laughs> so but it's I'm... like key, disposable keen mind. All right, sure, and yes. this, this man said, Just for one day. <laughs> I have a very, I have a, I have a rare plate armor that I just bought this from the market. It seems like, uh, it's a plate armor, and he just said, I don't know what the benefit this armor does, but it seems that it is has a magical property. Ah, you haven't identified this yet? Nope. I look at Gerp. Can you? <laughs> I nod. Yes. Can we take that for just 10 minutes so we know, we both know what it does? If it's fine with you. I'm asking, I know. <laughs> Wait, I forget that. Aldor. There we go. Yes. Aldor, I'm, uh, uh, I'm asking Aldor if we can, I know. Uh, let group use identify on it. If it's fine with him. Vader, are you there? Yeah. He gave... Vader gave the goo signal, but I'm we're asking, looking for uh, you. I'm asking for a mission. <clears throat> All right, all done. I dropped my deep. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chop this deep four or no? That's right. the deep four. So anyway, uh, you cast identify. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, and Elder the Elmer says, "Well, all done, little fella." I don't consent no. of you doing that magic on my magic item. Okay. No, we were I'm asking sorry. permission for you earlier. You weren't talking. Oh, you're asking permission. Yeah. Mm, Romy persuasion check. I... It's a it's a win win for both of us. We know what this does. It might Got this. It might not disrupt your no. Uh, fuck. Perception? Persuasion? Uh, Persuasion. Help. Wait, guidance. Uh, help. Four. <clears throat> four? Four. What's the total? That's it. Four. Four is the total. Uh, just four. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, just four. I have he... negative one in persuasion. Then I rolled a two. He said... Well, to be honest, I don't want to be touched by merchandise. And mm-hmm. especially okay. with this weird little fella that I haven't met before. Mm-hmm. So, if, okay. you, if you are not interested in this armor, I'm probably gonna keep it here. Unless you want the eye. How much for the eye, then? 
Good question. Let me check <laughs> to my log books. It's not a big itinerary. Right? right. Let's see. How much is it? Book of word. Book of word. All right. That'll be a thousand and a hundred gold pieces. Forgot to double the price here. <laughs> <sighs> Damn the items are too rich for my blood. I, th- that would be useful, but I'll be back for that thing next time. Okay? Can you reserve that? Oh, I can't promise reserve if someone's actually buy it first. Alright, uh, fair. That's fair. Oh, wait. I got. Can you do it now? Can I do request for magic items here? A request? What kind of yeah. request? If you somehow come across something that I know makes me more makes someone more elusive, that would be great. A magic item that does. What, what kind of magic item are you looking for? Out of character, it's cloak of displacement. <laughs> oh, bro. Uh, all right, cloak of displacement is a what? What uh, rarity is rare. that? That's rare. Hmm. It is interesting request. I will find it set. with my regular price. Plus, there's an extra fee if you want me to find specific. How much would be done? Additional. The additional will be. Hmm, yes, again. Nem, 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 nem. <laughs> Where the frick is it? All right, there it is. I, I, okay, okay, okay. What uh, rule are you right. using for the magic item prices? It's off. I think it's the drafting fee. All right, extra fee is uh, 500 gold pieces. 500. Okay. Yes, and you are looking for that certain prices and uh, that certain of kind of magic, and there will be like a total of eleven thousand gold. What? Oh. Holy shit! Eleven thousand. Got it. Hmm. Well, I'm not literally asking you to find for it. If you come across it, maybe. I'll try collecting more now. Uh, I'll try collecting some delirium for this. Eh? Well, making no promises, but I'll try. Hey, right, thank you. I reach my hand out for handshake. Well, handshakes is only for me making more money for a deal. Since none of you folks buy any items from me, I won't <laughs> shake your hand. I, another thing that's fair. Come on, girl. let's head back to the rest. God damn, I think he just called you guys peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Indirectly calling us peasants. God damn, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. It's not wrong. <clears throat> Gurp, he's technically a patient. Alright, so for that, actually, Gurp hasn't been the house yet. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so give me a sec. Just transfer you guys uh trans just only group. Yeehaw. Wait, why do I have an untitled script? What's wrong with roll twenty today? Gurp's bizarre adventure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You guys are now in the rented house. Rented house. Rented house. <gasps> We're back. <clears throat> I can imagine our small talk <laughs> and our house. So what do you guys think is the flavor of a human? 
I'm cooking right now. <laughs> what? So I, I'm I'm looking at them. So have you eaten humans before? Um, indirectly, yes. Accidentally. I mean, haven't you guys eaten dwarf? Yeah, we. I mean, you know, we ate dwarf, but those aren't humans. Um, humans are a little gamey. Um, almost like deer, but weirder would, flavor. Would would their like uh, flavor change depends on where they are located? Like, let's say it's a whole diet sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm just asking, like, if they live in near the sea, would that make their meat? Salty. A bit salty. <laughs> I assume so, yes. They will be qualified for Omega 3. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> cooking. I, I'm, I have a large venison on roast right now. Uh, DM, oh, could yes. I say that I bought like enough food to cook for a table of seven or uh, eight? Alright, I'll say I can. You can actually deduct like uh, I guess estimation of three gold pieces na lang. Three? Okay, okay. Alright. Per meal, two I'll gold also buy pieces. Wine. So we have uh wines different. So there's like a wine alone is only like two silver. Okay, I'll get two bottles of wine then. Alright. Oh, wait, I give back that the three hundred gold. Yeah. The cage only was 10 gold, apparently. Alright, so 290 then. Plus 290 minus 3 gold pieces for food, minus 1 gold piece for 2 bottles of wine. So, I, I raised my hand again to get everyone's attention. So, what does Mimic eat? Humans. People. Anything. Any living being, I think. Okay. So they say mimic a magical weapon. That's a good question. DM. Yeah. If Mikolith uses the unconscious mimic sword as a weapon, does it count as magical? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Just making sure. Just yeah. What this makes it magical is me wielding it. <laughs> this gonna be it's gonna bite us in the ass later. Literally. I'm gonna, I'm gonna train it like a house dog. No oh, joy. Alright. Anyway, that how long will the uh, will the people that we sent to buy a horse get back? I think tomorrow. Should be tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm hitting the hay. Yes, yes. Do, do you think right. we can get back to the ruin? Oh, Mikolith, and as huh? as he says he's hitting the hay, I just like I cut a large piece of the steak and I just lob it at him. Ah, I I catch it with my mafia. Wait, right. I wanna roll for this. Right, I wanna roll, roll for, for this if I roll get for to catch eat dinner or no. Okay. <laughs> do you get floor food or not floor food? <laughs> Wait, 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 depends. What am I rolling? Dexterity? Uh, also, out, out, of, out of character, if, if you guys wondering what I did for the magic item so we, so we don't get hassle for it. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Remember the sources of Gri Griffin Saddlebag, right? Yeah. yeah. And there's like the, the DMG. Of the magic item. Mm -hmm. I, a... I literally look all the index and type all the existing magic item by rarity and make it a rollable table. Oh my good. Nice, that's smart. From... I could never do that. like so that's much items. So much effort. Like common magic item to uncommon magic item, rare and the, um, rare. You you have to save that file and like post it in the Discord group so that it does not get lost. That's a lot of effort. I know. 
I, at least I know where I say, gotta get um, it, so the rollable hmm. table is in this room. So we do Nice, you don't need the list anymore. <laughs> so I rolled a 16, just to let you guys know. I'm pretty sure you catch it. I mean, it's not like I'm I... throwing it at a fast yeah. pace, I'm just oh, yeah. tossing it. Alright, so you original, original plan, to be honest, I'm supposed to make like a deck card, and the deck card is actually more complicated than I thought. Ah, uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, I, I remember the ducks trying it out, like editing the cards. Yeah. I think you need the origin Dana to pay for all twenty. Apparently, to do that. It, uh, it takes like some coding as well. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So anyway, I'm currently for... in the process of making one for my spirit table. All right. So sorry for uh, off track. So continue with the state catching. Yeah. Yep. So I catch it and I'm like, oh yeah, good. I want to show you my room. Okay, I follow. And, like, and then we go like near the stairs, and then I show them the bodega. Yep, <laughs> it's my room. Yep, they eat me. I nod <laughs> yes. Okay. Actually, good question. Yep, do you eat humans? Why are we suddenly talking about eating humans? Oh, I Corey, you're yes. back. Hey. So, anyways, yeah, go on. Your ammo is with Margot. Just ask her for your fill, and whatever we need to replenish, we can work on before the horses arrive. Okay, as Mick shows him his room, I sleep on his room. Oh, oh my God! That means uh, I'm sleeping with. with uh, you're bunking with Gerp, yeah. With the giant turtle and a small guy. <laughs> Yeah, right. we're gonna we're gonna pimp this up and oh yeah, let do not forget about my pet mimic. No, no, by Rob because we're both small creatures. We're we can fit with if put together, we're one normal creature. <laughs> yep. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wait, wait. There's a cage. There's a cage for the mimic, by the way, so we don't all die when we're sleeping. <laughs> okay, go in the cage. No, not That's you, the mimic. That's for the mimic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bachelor pad for the mimic. Alright. No, I put myself in the cage to avoid the mimic. <laughs> Outside the cage. I mean, what, what happens is, I you know, the mimic copies the fucking cage, so it's gonna look like a cage within the cage for some reason. Like, what's happening? <laughs> uh, anyways. Zed. Yes? You think we can go back to the ruins? Maybe when we have the horses. May let's make a quick trip to that place, yeah. Um, with the whole party, yes. I don't... Well, honestly, I feel like we could have taken it, just the four of us, but... The amount of... The we stayed in Jackenheim for so long. We were there for four hours. Four hours. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Hopefully yeah. that wizard's potion, you know... I mean, actually, there there is something I've been working on, and what is it? Tia has been Tia has informed me of a spell that can help with the delirium infection. Really? I, yes, I've been speaking with a few spirits lately, and one of them seems to know the spell, but I'm not strong enough to connect to them yet. I could have them teach me the spell, but it will take a few. I don't know. I I feel like I need to be stronger. That might prove useful in case one of us looks at Nicola gets infected. I didn't even need to turn around. Yes, yes, I know. Nicola is uh, most likely to get infected. We're saying this, but maybe it's probably going to be one of us. <laughs> All things considered, I mean, that Rat King's teeth was made of delirium and our only frontliner was Nicola at the time. Yeah, that is true. Now we, have, now we have Clavis. Oh, well, Clevis is mechanical, no? Yeah, Clevis is um, part mechanical. Oh, oh, see, apparently, not even mechanical people are safe. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say about that. Oh, in character, you know. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, he should be fun. And he, do we know he's a paladin? We know he's a paladin, right? Um, I think so. Yeah. We we can't defy his class because you know characters characters. Mm. Have we had combat with him? Because I was not here for a few sessions. We I had, but he didn't use anything for no. Yeah. Paladin, also, like... I just assume he's a fighter then, like a warrior. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you, have you ever imagined a robotic barbarian? I've run into one actually. Really? Yes. All the way down south. Quite the storyteller. Uh, maybe I'll. I've not been around the whole world for a long time. And this is well, the only time I went to town. Well, cool. Really if you've lived as long as I have, then you probably would have met a lot of people. How long exactly have you lived? Ah, good. 762 years. That's insane. That's, uh... Don't give this That's old an man astounding number. Huh? I'm not Gurp. <clears throat> I'm Gunther. Gunther. I am oh, but a translator for my master Gurp. Gunther, uh, do you do you need to eat? No, not really. I'm... Are you from the Fey? I am but a minion to my master Gurp. I am not knowledgeable as of my origins. Wait, hold on. I aren't familiar it's like someone from the Fey. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, see, I just, I'm not knowledgeable enough in wizards and familiars, so that's just me copping out. <laughs> okay, okay. Appearing in an occupied familiar statistic chosen form, though it is a celestial fae or fiend of your choice instead of a beast, so you could be fae, basically. Could be. Yeah. You could be fae, you could be an angel, you could be a devil. I didn't go that deep with my boy Gunther. I but speak yeah. Faye to you, and I say, what do you eat? Or what do you remember eating? I don't remember eating much. Oh, so you are a Faye. Mm. Oh, it's nice to have somebody from home here. You're also from the Faye Wilds. At some point, yes. Well, we traveled a lot when I was younger. You know. Mm. Mother being, you know, um, large and all. And the wings, the wings help. Wait, no, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna bother asking this. Duta, I am curious what your inquiry is about. Do you have wings of your own? Is that me? No, I did not inherit those. Like, I was imagining you have tiny wings on your back for a second there. <laughs> no, darling. The only thing tiny are my horns, and I move, I part my hair a little bit, and you see um, the satyr horns. Well, do you, I have to ask, do you do, you do a Jojo pose? No, I don't. <laughs> you know what? I also have horns on my own. You see, just you know, up when you look up top, it's bald head right there. Then I know. Um. I light a cigar, I light a match. Put it on my head and it starts blazing. The, you see the horns protruding upwards. I see. Oh. Well, aren't we all weird? As an yeah. owl, I start spinning my head trying to look for a, for an, a horn. <laughs> Don't spin your head too much. You might get we might get dislocated. I can't seem to find the horn in me. <laughs> Well, I I'm, I assume I'm done cooking dinner. I serve it, and we all eat. Then, if there's nothing else, I guess we just head to a long rest, right? Dinner is yep. ready. I shall inform master. Please do. Master Gurp, it is feeding time. <laughs> and there's, there's. All right. So I have come to inform you that dinner is ready, <clears throat> gentlemen. Or, oh, you know, at, at the rate we're recruiting party members, we we might end up with our own guild. Probably. If we do, what would they name it? Adventurers 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Half the adventures league. <laughs> no. I don't know. Seeing as how we're all new to this, and we're naturally good. Nah. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. Newbie <laughs> Express. I was going to say natural newbies, but I don't think that would sell well with higher paying jobs. Professional. Professional. <laughs> Exceptional experts. <laughs> Exceptional. <laughs> 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 baby. <laughs> we fit so well. We this ass name. <laughs> We're the exceptional experts. I don't think that's. La la break. After, can I know? Can I just say after dinner, I'm gonna head to the blacksmith. Just uh, no, there's 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 no need for traffic for this. I'm just gonna rent one of the you know, one of the bellows and create some you know, ammunition by smelting the armor and the swords that you know, we got from Dragonheim. All right, just the swords. Uh, yeah, okay. You're really proficient with it, so no need for rolls for that. Mm. Oh, core. If you can as well, uh, if you have spare metals, can you create some casings? How big are we talking? Fist size. Gotcha. Thank you. Right. So, if everyone's resting and <laughs> after eating dinner, you guys have the benefit and long rest. So. Oh, oh, wait, um, one more thing. Yeah. Like really small. As we're eating dinner. Uh, I'll assume it's like a short rest, so I'm gonna sing, like I'm gonna hum a tune and give inspiration to Grip and myself. Okay. Nice. The beat you. Uh, all right. Nice. So, for that, um, I w- I just wanna know <clears throat> in next session, what are you guys gonna do plan next? Oh, I... Um, assuming... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, assuming Tia is here, it's probably probably... follow up on the rod deal, yeah. and when the horses arrive, we'll take on that other quest. The ruins or, one? Yeah, if, if not the ruins, then we'll probably, like, get in, back into Drakenheim to score a bit uh, of delirium. Hmm. DM, DM, question. The uh, ruins the have delirium. Team... Maybe have we... delirium. We met the Thieves Guild, right? The Thieves Guild? Nah. Yeah. All right. You, you do met one of them. Like, the one from the oh, bo- tavern. The bar. The bar. Yeah, the you queens, do. No, no? The, the Queen's Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask, like, did we... Because I don't remember. Did we accept any missions from them? Not really. He's just pitching the... Uh, the... You know, the pit fight. Oh, okay. I thought we were... He had, like, a mission for us. Because I, re- I think I remember, like, Tia asking or something. Anyways, I, I might be remembering wrong. Alright. Hey, oh. So, anyway, uh... By the way, um, what's the plan again? Um, follow up on the rod deal rod? for Tia. Um, when the horses arrive, the, we'll check out the ruins and maybe that spot core marked earlier, the one with the childhood memory thing. All right. And probably do a little bit of restocking on supplies. And gold. Yeah. So it's most likely going to be like maybe 30 minutes IRL in, in um, Emberwood just to like catch up the rest of the party, and then we'll head into Drakenheim again. Okay. And for that, we're gonna end our session there. Um, it's, it's just so I don't forget it, I guess. Um, I might as well declare the portent now, since we're doing a long rest. Alright, I allow it. So, I'm gonna write your portent. I'll start so anyway, rolling. before we're gonna end, uh, I know, okay, maybe majority of you guys are I, I know some of you guys are streamers, like any news for or from your your side, like Crimson. I don't know, maybe I'll 
I've I've been having overtime left and right, so I don't think I'll be streaming for a while. Maybe next year. All right. I'll oh, be back uh, streaming. I can do a small plugin for Komi. Sure. Oh, good. Uh, so Komi and I have been talking, and we might do a collab stream on next week. Ooh. So, any of you interested in watching uh, the two of us try to beat the game? Make sure you drop by and watch us uh, try to beat the game. I, I don't know, know what details I'm allowed to disclose, so that's all I can say. <laughs> it's the, the it's one of those discourse detail like where do we watch? Oh, her channel plugin. I do not know her. Twitch I think T just Twitch yeah. Call me T that, Oh, there you go. Yeah, just hey. call me Kitty. That's, that's two K in the middle. Right. Well, you see, I 